Sir, how are you? It, this is my guest. I don't know why he's got boobs and wearing my wife's clothes though. <laughs> can, can you show me how to dance? Well, I'm waiting to get in the truck and head to uh, Iloilo. I've got something special that has arrived from Taiwan that I have been waiting and waiting for. And uh, i got to pay customs duties on it. So, it's supposed to have been here like 15 days ago. But Manila held it up up there in customs and... Uh, they revalued it. They did research and revalued it and raised the duties higher on it. The first time I've ever had that to happen. Um, I was shocked about that. It really was. But it's okay. Um, they were still pretty fair on it. I'm not complaining too much. Just ready to get it here. So I got up early this morning and headed to the city with a lot of excitement. Yeah. I headed up here to W Express, which they are also DHL Express, because I had something I was so excited for coming in. Right here. Yeah. Pretty excited for these right here. These two big boxes right here pack a lot of power I'll tell you about it later I'm gonna drive home right now or maybe I may stop and get a few other things first but when I get home I'm gonna cut these open and show you what I got Well, I've been out picking up and uh, picking up solar batteries, but my dear friend Noel is up from Ginseng and they're staying here at Courtyard. Let's see, what's it called? I mean, yeah, uh, Marriott Hotel Courtyard. And um, I'm gonna have breakfast with him. Him and his wife are here in the city setting up some uh, juice franchise for a juice business she started and uh, it's going to be great to visit with them. See the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad shady, my bros rock. No breaks, we go, 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 go. Don't shade, that's a no, no, no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a 644. Cash money like 504. Ball like AD24. No sleep, me, mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I'm a real one, my day ones. Try speak up, can't say none. Try dig dirt, there ain't none. I make the money that save up. 10 to 80, my 
save us. Take to the top on the base one. New car, racer, fast lane, pace it. With the boo, y'all, that's a flex. Now I'm human, I ain't from another planet. I'ma teleport, might vanish. I'ma wake up, do damage. Join number seven, he's bored though. Working all night, need more though. I remember nights. Hey everybody, well the day has come. It has came. I finally received my two MPPT hybrid solar chargers inverters. Off-grid. These are an off-grid system. Um, I'm pretty excited for them. I ordered these right up from um, Taiwan where they're made. And uh, I got them here. These are actually manufactured by Voltronics and they are the manufacturer. They make a lot of uh, UPS battery backup systems. They're a very well known company for that. Voltronics is. They've kind of mastered that business. And so it was a pretty smooth transition a few years ago for them to start building uh, solar inverters and hybrid chargers. So once they did that, they marketed some in their own name directly, Voltronics, but they also um, had licensed distributors, retailers, their biggest one being MPP Solar. Um, some people think that MPP is only cloning Voltronics, but they're not. I actually wrote Voltronics directly, and I can share the email if anybody wants to call me out on it. And Voltronics wrote me back directly saying that MPP distributes their solar hybrid chargers and inverters on grid, off grid, their whole lineup. And that gave me comfort because I was gave misleading information out there. Um, that being said, I know there's going to be people out there that's going to write, oh, MPP is no good, this and that. Everybody has their opinion and I'm okay with that. Um, I'm also smart enough to know that a lot of people that maybe had trouble out of them didn't follow the steps that are required to protect any equipment. It doesn't matter if you bought a eight, nine, ten thousand dollar inverter or a three thousand dollar inverter or a few hundred dollar inverter. There's still precautions and steps and fuses and working it hot and causing charges and blow capacitors and things and overwork capacitors that is usually on the user end, the installer end. So that being said, a lot of times what people do is they go and they try to be as budget minded as they can and um, they just get the bare minimum what they need. And then those days come when they need more power. And they're like, oh, I know my inverter really can't handle this, but I really want to use this item, this tool, this appliance. So I'm just going to go ahead and chance it anyway. I think it can do it. It says it has a surge, right? And they overload it and they blow it. And then they're mad. Oh, that inverter was crap. No, you made your own mistakes there. So. You need to have a huge buffer zone. You need to have too much. And if you can't afford to buy the proper equipment to have that extra buffer, that extra range of um, kilowatts, that, that power there, so you're not maxing these out and overheating them, the harder you work on them, the more they have to work to cool. Um, well, then you're probably going to have faults. So back to this system here. These are 24 volt 4K inverters, 24 volt 4,000 watt inverters. And that's not an inflated wattage like you'll get with a lot of equipment, you know, where they'll call something, oh man, you, you know, you got 8,000 watts, but really you've got about 2,000 watts, you know. These are 4,000 watt each. Uh, inverters so you put the two together in parallel of course you're going to get um, an increase there so I've got everything here for them I've got the two parallel boards the cables everything to tie them together one of them will become the, the master unit and the others will just follow um, 
I plan to add more of these as the project grows. I can continue to daisy chain them together. And the nice thing I like about that is that let's say my whole house is off grid and I'm depending on these inverters. Well, let's say one of them does go bad. Something happens, whatever happens. I can remove that one unit without losing all of my power. I may have a reduction in power as far as how many appliances and lights and things and all I can run, but it leaves me where I'm not in a position with no power. So if I have even these two and I have to remove one for servicing, I still have the 4,000 watts of this one going. If my master one goes down, I just turn the one next to it into the master while this one gets repaired or replaced. And if I have three of them, four of them, you know, it just makes your uh, odds even better. So that way, all your eggs are not in one basket. So that's the nice thing about these being stackable. And uh, I'm really happy for that. There it is, guys. That is going to be our, our beginning to our new off-grid system. Uh, it was a little bit of investment to get those from Taiwan to the Philippines. Um, I had to pay shipping charge on each one of those. I think it was like on each box, like $99 per box. And uh, then when they made it to Manila, a DHL customs inspector cut the boxes open, saw what was inside, did a little Googling on the internet, sent me an email and said, hey, your, uh, your shipper underdeclared the value of these. And they raised the value of them up. But to my luck, they looked up the wrong model number. They looked up one that was about half the price of this, a little small one. And so they, they did raise the value, but they did not get nowhere near what the actual real value was. Thank God. But I still had to pay duties on that. And they did increase the duty fee, which ended up adding about another $100. But I'm not complaining because I priced these locally here at a dealer in our area and they want it it would have cost me a total of 40,000 more pesos to buy it from them than the price including the shipping that I bought it from straight from Taiwan at the manufacturer so that that combined together um, and with the increased 5,000 pesos on the duty fee I still came out saving a bunch of money so it's no problem on that, you know, it's fair enough. The government needs their duties just like Trump in the U.S. is trying to handle these duties with these foreign countries right now too. You know, government takes money to operate. They need their cut, right? Yeah. They're a business too. Yeah. I'm not trying to cheat the government in any way. Just give me a little mercy. Um, I actually found out from a friend yesterday that I probably could have bought and with the customs up there and fought them on that duty because I found out that these items like this, they were actually supposed to cut a big break on, uh, on these energy devices. Kind of like we have those incentives in the U.S. I found the Philippine government does too. And, uh, but I didn't know all the details on it and dealing with them is not easy. You're dealing through very long drawn out communications through email and expensive phone calls here. So, uh, I just paid it and got it on. Let's just move on with it. But we got it. We'll be able to have strong power over there, expandable power, so that Melinda can run uh, curling irons. <laughs> <laughs> Flattening. Flattening irons, curling irons. Blower. Blower. Shaving. A girl needs power. Is that right? You need a fan to yes, pull you off power. when you've been busy. We need the power, you not need, only me. You need the air con. I'm cowboy. I'm a cowboy. I don't have to have all this. Well, I, and I'm, car, I'm a cowgirl, too. You're a cowgirl? Yes, so I don't need the We're air in the con. Philippines, so does that make you a carabao girl or a cowgirl? If uh, there's a brand out, you can just blow him, you know, blow your mouth. Blow my mouth? So we need a wind. 
<laughs> so, wait, you're saying we need a wind generator here also? So if there's a brownout, I'll just go blow my hot air on the wind generator <laughs> and make more power. <laughs> oh, Melly. <laughs> uh, well, I tell you what, we're excited. Each step, we're excited. We, wanna, we want this off-grid. We want solar power to be away from the power company when everybody else is having a brownout we're still shining right mm -hmm. and brownouts are very common here right. you in the western world when y'all experience a little small power outage even two hours you're all on facebook and panicking what happens when the power goes out here babe everybody's just used to it right yeah we used to you know what happens when the power goes out here everybody goes outside yeah. And they actually sit down and talk to each other. Yeah, and just enjoy And it. communicate. Yeah. And life goes on. Not that panic like the apocalypse is coming after two hours of no power in the U.S. We used already. You know, before, <laughs> before, before, it's a long time ago, we just used only the, what do you call that? The native. What, oh, like the oil lamps? Oh, yeah, the oil yeah. lamps. Yeah. The oil lamps. I, I mean, miles from a developing third world country where it was only our grandparents could talk about in the U.S. of using oil lamps. My little Asawa right here experienced that herself during her lifetime. So, uh, you know, that they're playing catch-up with the rest of the but world right now. I don't think there's a lot of block in your nose. 